<laughs> Welcome back to my channel, guys. So, we're back with a new video. I always wanted to do this because, you know, we're all back to school. We've all been late to our respective places, whether it's work, whether it's teaching someone's kids, whether it's going to class. We've all been late. We all want to go to school, wherever the heck we're going to, looking good. But then we don't have time, guys. We don't have time. We don't have time to do this because makeup takes a periodically amount of time. Do you. So, I wanted to show you to you guys the cheat sheet that I've been doing for going to school when I wake up so freaking early morning. What? I've been waking up to go to my seminars every single day. Here's how to do makeup when you're late for school or uni or wherever the heck you go to. Let's go. Now imagine you wake up, right? You look at your time, you realize I have only 15 minutes to get to where I have to get to. Well, actually that's a lie. You wake up and let's say you have like 30 minutes. Am I right? You spend 15 minutes getting dressed, waking yourself, you know, basically waking yourself up, going to the bathroom, brushing your teeth so your breath don't stank, you know, putting on clothing, making a quick breakfast, which is gonna mostly be a, like a crepe and salami, but let's not talk about that. And then you realize you only have 15 minutes in order to get your makeup done. What do you do? This is where everything that I'm doing comes in. First, we prep our lips. I'm using the Also oh Heavenly Love Your Lips Vanilla Bliss Balm. I don't know if it's also heavenly in the UK, but you know, all my African people, yo. Also heavenly is this. It's great. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. primer and I'm going to prime under my eyes only. Pause, pause, pause. You know, I wanna do this as like a tutorial style video, but technically, I'm just not, so, that's not the person I am. I just wanna do this video because I have been making up late for school. I've been late for my classes, don't get it twisted, but like, all my classes, if I have seminars, they all start at nine in the damn morning. And if you guys know, but you don't know, I'm not a morning person, like, morning is overrated, man. I'm not about this life shit. Like, morning is when you catch your best sleep. That is when you sleep the best. I don't believe in waking up at seven o'clock in the morning, waking up in the morning to eat breakfast. I eat breakfast at 2 a.m., 2 a.m. <laughs> I'm in 2 p.m. This is what I've been doing um, in order to cheat my makeup for school because I really, I don't know, I just felt, I don't feel like I want to go to school not having my face beat. People out here coming with like minimalistic looks and looking cute to school every single day. So I do a half face. Take a very reddish undertoned concealer first. I'm using the Infallible More Than Concealer from L'Oreal in the shade Coco. 339 and I'm gonna put it under my eye. Listen, if you haven't realized it yet, I'd recommend going to go watch Auntie Jackie's video about concealers. That video changed my life. That video, I'm not even plugging her because I'm I'm a fan of her or anything. I'm just doing it because I want everyone who watches my videos who enjoy sitting down with me and stuff like that. If you want to get better at your makeup, then I honestly truly I recommend that video because it was so so, so good. Now, I'm gonna take my fan and I'm gonna dry it down just a bit. That way it gives me as much coverage as you would get from, you know, if you did your foundation and then you're gonna put over a concealer and then you're gonna put, like, put powder in it. That's what I'm gonna do. This is where it gets a little bit controversial. Auntie Jackie, in her video, she used a beauty blender in order to, you know, do her stuff. I have a beauty blender here. Obviously, you can tell that I use her face and her her bottom in order to do my stuff. But then I'm worried that I'm doing too much. So sometimes I take my foundation brush as well. But it's up to you. Remember, you have a choice. Get that. I'm gonna use a beauty blender just like Auntie Jackie did, and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. And this is the most important part. You blend out those edges, and then they meld with your face. You hear me? Try not to touch the center as much because then you're just getting. <laughs> you're taking away all the coverage that you just put down, which is beside the point. Go right up to the eye. This, like, don't, this is an important step. Don't even forget it. Don't, don't hesitate. Just go for it. Go right up to the eye and blend into your temples. Tem temples? <laughs> the reason why you go into your lid, I'll explain in just a few seconds. Do you, do you, do you see that? Do you see, do you, you see that? I know I may look actually orange right now, or red. Could, just, 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 like, it's so flawless. You could, I look cute. Now you do the same on the other side. 
This is where I get a little bit more controversial. Am I right? Am I right? So, 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 so I want to brighten my face, right? Because my face right now looks hella orange or red. And we can't go like that. I mean, we could. You could stop here. I don't see why you would. So this, and that's not why we're here. And when we're going to school, we want to look like our best selves. Now. This way it gets a little bit more coverage. We're gonna put a little bit more concealer on. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. We're gonna take the same line of Infallible. Love this concealer, by the way. Thank you, L'Oreal. We're gonna take a highlighter shade, Honey 338. And we're gonna, you know when you have bags under your eyes, cause you know, you've been awake until 2 a.m. doing assignments that you should have done two weeks ago, but then you realize that it's due for tomorrow, and you are like, I can do this, but they're actually five, and they're all due at the same time, and you also have other readings to do. These little things are gonna hide my bags and pretend like I haven't been having no amount of sleep for the past couple of periodically days. Even though I've been passing out at around like midnight and waking up at like 7 in the morning. I don't know what God has been doing to me, but let's not talk about that. And again, we dry her down. Now that this is dried down much, I'm gonna take this brush, which is supposed to be for foundation, but I don't, I don't mess with that. And I'm going to literally gently buffer this highlight out. Blending it into the red, pretending like we have always been this glowy. Our nose has always been this high, even though I don't know what the hell that means. Now this is where you're careful, right? I've done this thing where, because I want to brighten my face. I want this area to look like, ooh, I'm awake. Ooh, I don't have feel like I've not done my five readings for the seminar. You know what I mean? So be gentle with this. Like, don't draw in what you already did here, thus. Or, or sir, because we, we all know that the boys who do, do makeup in the morning salute to you. And then you take any excess, you rub it on the outer corners, so that way it blends even more seamlessly into your face. So you don't have just a, a, like a line of demarcation saying that, ooh, look at that, I didn't actually put a full face on. Now when you have a wet concealer like this one, guys, so fun. Ooh, that's when you say, go to the outer corners, fam. Outer corners, take it there, take it all the way there. Take it all the way there. Because we're not about to, we're not about to do this, we're not about to do this. We're gonna take Honey again, and we're gonna put her on our eyelids. Which is something I was supposed to do and I forgot, my bad. Just a, just a dash, just a, just a dash. We're gonna use a concealer to prep our eyes. That way we can do shadow. You see, now, this is the point of no return. You can go naked like this. Like, I say naked because some people wanna go to school looking like, oh no, I just woke up like this, my skin has always been this flawless. And granted, you could do that, like, you can just, Put on a powder, which I'm gonna do afterwards. Put some eyeliner, do your eyebrows, cause you know someone's like doing, oh you can leave them like you, they are. You know, if you've got eyebrows like mine, then you can just leave them in, you know, in their natural form. Or if you don't, then you can draw on your eyebrows. Put a little, little color on your lips and boom, you're good. Then I do some university glam, glam, shazam, you know, just to be like, mm, I put some effort in the morning, then we can, we can continue from here. I'm going to be taking the MUA Makeup Academy uh, Loose Setting Powder and it's in the shade Natural Neutralizing Apricot. And this is the, this is the most important part. Okay, this is where I take my beauty blender. Yeah, this, this crusty nigga, yeah, we gonna take him. And then we're going to take the finest amount of powder. We're not gonna take much. <laughs> See, this is the amount. I dab it on the back of my hand to remove excess and to also dip into later on. And then I literally press as quickly as possible under my eye and move quickly. Ah, I think I put too much. No, 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 no. I don't want to fumble the bag when I guess when I just got here now. Can't fumble the bag when I just rubbed the bank. What the hell, man? No. So now we already prepared our eyes. We're just gonna quickly do our eyebrows because you know that's what we do in this household. I'm gonna again be taking what in the hell lint is this on the tip of my brush, ma'am? Brows are done. Whoa, light from the sun, please. Can you relax? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot the, to bring my a palette from my, my drawer at the back um, of shadows that I collect. You can pick whatever shadow you want. You can go glitzy, you can go monochrome, you can do whatever you want. Personally, I'm gonna do a monochromatic look today. I'm gonna take this Basics Pat palette from Revolution London. It's called Reloaded. I'm gonna be using these three colors. Well, four actually. I'll see where the, my feeling takes me. First, I'm gonna do a crease color, which I'm gonna really blend out eventually. I'm gonna take this pinky color. 
and I'm gonna put it into my crease. Oh, usually I do I start from this side. Wow, this is a change. I think it's really pretty, this dusky color. Ooh. I'm just gonna pack this purple right into the mm, that's what I thought. Ooh, I should have put like um some powder at the bottom because there's also fallout. Just a fair warning, like this palette has quite an amount of fallout on it. I'm in it. And then get into the pink at the top. What color am I looking at? Ah, oh, I go to this spectrum also. The sun freaking came out. Because that line was very long, I took, I'm taking some concealer and I'm cutting this line and blending it down. Now you see that this is what I did for an inner corner highlight with a matte. I'm gonna take this light lilac purple and I'm gonna pack it in at the edge. Now all you have to do is do it on the other side. So I know this was supposed to be like, oh, an everyday look you can wear to like going to school. And I mean, people do. They people. I just got carried away. I never know when to restrict myself. Sometimes I start a look and I'm just like, oh, Tegani, you're just going to do a monochromatic look and you're going to be chill. <laughs> when I'm done with the look, I'm like ready to walk the red carpet. But that's fine. That's okay. People, people need to live their best lives, man. Who am I? Now, hear me out. I do know, like I said, sometimes wake up in the morning, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. But understand that the amount of time that I usually take in putting on like my foundation and stuff like that is the same amount. It's almost the same amount of time I put on like eyeshadow because like, you know, it's an art form. But this was for extrapolating purposes. I do know that I can do a very toned down version of this look in like 15 to 20 25 minutes like if I have to run for that bus that's coming and like <laughs> Five minutes fam. So this is just extrapolated readings. You can do things way tone. You can do things way too tone. You can tone this look down I'm just I'm doing a video for you guys. It has to be interesting somehow. Okay, duh. Take your Mascara you can put on just a healthy swatch of mascara. We're not gonna put on lashes today because we don't wear lashes to um, University I think to wearing blushes. I took the wrong blush out because I didn't realize what color I was gonna do on my lids today. The color that I picked was the H and M one that I really really like, which is like, like this corally red. I don't know how what it how what how. <laughs> so we're gonna take this and swap it. But this this one is from Kaiko or Kiko. I don't know how to pronounce it. Kiko Milano. And again, she's a cheap buy. Pff, thank you. Kaiko. So I'm gonna take this corally reddish color. It's like a way lighter shade than the um, what's this thing called? The H&M one. I'm just gonna gently dust it on my cheeks. It's very gentle. I try to be very light-handed with this, even though I am tempted to put a lot more on because it's very light on my skin tone. I will resist because we're not dumb like that. Now that we're done with our blush, we're gonna take our favorite Mega Melt from Revolution London. From their makeup obsession line, if you can open, there we go. My new favorite, new, new favorite, neighbor the lipstick. Mm -hmm. Gonna fix all this makeup. And your makeup look is complete. So, your makeup look is complete. Like I said, I've extrapolated the details because again, I went very, very glam in this video when I rarely do this when I go to school. But yeah, this is my trick for going to school. When I'm late for university, I don't have time to do a full face. I don't have time to do many things like setting my makeup and stuff like that and baking. No one has time for that fam for 9 o'clock in the damn morning. But we still want to look great, so that's what I do. I do a demi face. Looks great, looks flawless. You can't even tell where my concealer starts and ends. I do acknowledge that I can get away with this because I do have very clear skin and very even toned skin. And any unevenness is usually centered in 
around here which I can easily cover up and if you feel like you do not have the confidence to just do a half face and you want to do a full face I completely respect that I do just say this is a hack for me because I do wake up very late when I have a nine o'clock in the morning and I have to take a bus ride that's like 15 minutes long to 20 because you know a billion and one students and their grandmothers get on the bus at the same damn time at like 8 30 in the morning this for me has really helped a lot and me wanting to go to school with like a nice look because hey, some, I cannot be sleeping when girls out here snatching every single people. Let's not talk about that. I do acknowledge that some people really don't have the privilege of having fairly clear skin and they do have some marks that they feel self-conscious and they want to cover up. Or if you don't want to cover up at all then hey, do you sis or sir because we support self-love in this household. This is my greatest cheat that I've been doing this whole past couple of weeks since I've gone back to school and I hope you've enjoyed it with me. That was all for me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys continue sharing my content so we can grow this family. Please also remember my Instagram is, handle is down right below so you can follow me and see what I get up to which is mostly like makeup stuff and skin, lifestyle and skincare and all that jazz. Like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below so our T-Bag family can forever grow. I really love you guys so, so much. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope a lot of you will be able to do this. If you are, please send me your pictures on Instagram DMs but tell me who you are first, why you are sending me this DM and how much you actually really like my content. This beautiful desert rose is out.